Hi guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to clean and re-oil your K&N air filter or any performance air filter it should work on using some household products. You don't need the, uh, in my opinion, you don't need the K&N uh, recharge kit, I think it's called. And I'm going to show you how. So first of all, we need to take the air filter out on this old Honda Civic, nice and easy. Two clips, take that off and then take the air filter out. That's looking a bit second hand, we're going to give that a clean. Obviously that's what it's meant to do, stop all that going into the engine. Then what I do to get the worst of the debris off, I'll give it a tap on the, tap on the ground. Get all the, hmm, hasn't really worked. <laughs> Put water in the sink. Get the old fairy liquid. There we go, that should be enough. And then, Get your main air filter, chuck it in. We'll see the ferry liquid is a degreaser, so it's going to get rid of all your deposits and your oil and that sort of stuff. Literally, give it a good soak. There we go. There we go. And while that's soaking in there, probably leave that for about five or ten minutes. And uh, perfect time to have a milky brew. Sorry everyone, we'll keep her out. Also worth mentioning that today's flavour of fairy liquid is pomegranate and honeysuckle. I don't know if that cleans any better or makes your car go any faster, but it's worth a try. Other flavours are available. Right, we're out of tea, so let's see how we're getting on. This water's looking pretty, pretty murky. And this is looking like it's got the worst of it off. Right, let's go and give her a rinse. So now we're outside, that's the top, that's obviously the dirty side, that's where it all tries to come in. So my opinion, I would blast it from this side first and push the dirt back out the way it came in. And with the hose pipe, I have it on like the fan, fan setting. And let's give it a, give it a good old blast. Flip her over. Obviously if you're not holding a camera it's probably better to pick it up and hold it. <laughs> I don't know how brand new it's supposed to look but that's better, certainly better than it was. Right, let's shake the water off. And then we've got the waiting game, we've got to let it dry out. Obviously it's the British summer so the sun's not out. In fact it looks like it might rain in a minute but I don't know, I think we're all right. So basically I've hung it up on the washing line and we'll come back in an hour or so, see if it's dry. I guess if you've got a hair dryer or an airline or something you could blow most of the water out of it and help it dry out a bit quicker but I'm in no rush today so now I've hung it up on the line I'm going to go and have another milky brew. So it's been a couple of hours, the sun came out as well so it is now dry. Now we're going to apply a light oil and the idea is that tiny little specks of dust and dirt stick to the oil and don't go into the engine although arguably anything that's going to get through that in my opinion isn't really going to harm your engine we just be, used to put a pair of tights over the airbox back in the day and our engines were fine but it's a high performance machine not really uh, so we're going to use some oil a bit of one cow spray does the job and then we're literally just going to Spray it over it, I'll flip it over do both sides and you'll notice, top tip, if you do it over a baking tray any oil that misses the air filter gets on the baking tray ready for putting some sausages on for your dinner or whatever you're cooking. There you go and then we let that sit for I don't know about 10 minutes or so, let it kind of sink in and then we can put it back in the car. There we go, that's all sunk in. I've just patted off some of the excess with a bit of kitchen roll. Now we're going to go and pop it back in the car. Right, last but not least, just check the bottom of the airbox for any bits of uh, debris. Got a bit of leaf in there. Any big bits of 
stuff. I mean, if you get really excited, you can take the bottom bit of the airbox out and blow it out or tip it upside down or whatever, but that should be fine. There's nothing that bad in there. And just pop the air filter back in place. Pop the box back on the top. Come on, there we go. Clip, clip. There you go, she's good to go. And then, just to double check, make sure it fires up. Of course it will, it's a Honda. Lovely. There we go guys, I hope you found that helpful. Hopefully save you a few quid and also enable you to do it with some products that you've probably got at home. Don't judge me by the state of my engine bay, it's a workhorse, I don't clean the engine bay and it is 25 years old. Um, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one. Re oil. Oh, that's not even words. Potatoes.